Hello, this is Nate, your host and partner on this journey, and welcome to Outcome Becomes Income. The goal of this channel is to create an all-inclusive community to build long-term wealth via the stock market. In any 20-year period, the stock market has never lost money and it has outpaced inflation. The barrier to entry has never been lower. Many brokerages no longer charge commissions to buy and sell stock. And with the addition of fractional shares, we can invest with as little as $1. There has never been more options available for us to invest in the market and become part owners of publicly traded companies. With some form of income, a brokerage account, time and patience, we can invest in a sound financial future together. Please join me as outcome becomes income. Hi, this is Nate with Outcome Becomes Income, and today I want to talk a little bit about the great one, Wayne Gretzky, probably the all-time greatest hockey player, and this quote of his and what we can learn from it and how we can see how it ties in and how we can use it for investing. So as the story goes that, that I heard, when Wayne Gretzky was a kid playing hockey in Canada, his dad used to have him do this exercise after he would have a hockey game and he would have to get a piece of paper and he would draw all the places on this piece of paper on a hockey rink of where he saw the puck going. And the idea was to determine that if you can see all the places of where the puck was going and from those, the next place that you could start inferring where the puck was going to go next. So the quote is, I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. And that idea that if you have seen the past of where it's going to go, you can better predict the future. Now, this doesn't always hold true, but this is something that I really relate to investing. The technologies that are going to define our future, they are here now. They are not big yet, but they will be. And these are the type of investments that we should be looking to put our money to work in. Now, this is not to say that we should go all in on these type of companies or in these industries, but there is a place in your portfolio looking to do, uh, to put money into those technologies and those companies that will help shape our future. And ideally, and hopefully also make the world a better place. And realistically, if those are two things that we can do is invest in companies that are doing good and make the world better, that's a really good feeling. So some of the things that I can think of that are just uh, right off the top of my head are things like cloud computing. The companies that um, are, are most well known for this probably are Amazon, uh, Google, Microsoft, but cloud computing is going to be more prevalent in our future. So there's other ways that we can play off of this too. So for example, a company like Equinox or a company like uh, Digital Realty, those are companies that own the real estate where the servers are actually housed. So all that information that is stored in the cloud, it still is in physical servers. So it's just another way if you think about it that you could tie into that same trend of cloud computing. If we're sticking with the themes of computers and we're more connected to the internet, cybersecurity is going to be more prevalent as uh, we go forward. Already we hear all the time about companies that have hacks where their credit card information of customers can potentially be exposed. So there's all sorts of companies that are trying to help mitigate that. And companies like Palo Alto Networks or even with authentication like Okta or Crowd, crowd Security, um, CrowdStrike is the name of the company. Those are companies that are trying to secure companies' information and our information. Other things like artificial intelligence, AI. There's, I don't know if you've ever encountered this with companies that you may try to get a hold of their customer service and this little bot comes up and it says, how can I help you? It is not really... Right now, the greatest, a lot of the information you still need to help from an actual person, but as artificial intelligence learns more, it will get better. There's a company out there called Lemonade right now, and they're an insurance uh, broker. They sell insurance, and they use artificial intelligence to underwrite their uh, insurance policies, but they also use artificial intelligence to pay out claims too. 
And this is something that is only going to become more prevalent going forward in the future. Another thing that I think of are companies that are trying to make the world a better place with clean energy. A company like Waste Management that uh, picks up our trash and has recycling, but also has waste to energy that they can use the burning of that uh, trash that they're picking up to create energy for us, but also try to preserve the environment. These are just some simple ideas of this, but whether it's a company like Waste Management that is an industrial company or a company like Lemonade that is a financial company selling insurance, these are still technologies that they're incorporating. And at the heart of any of our investments, we're looking back through the course of time, the things that have done the best or have defined us have been technology. And regardless if you're just actually a technology company or again, an industrial company or a financial company, you're using technology. So as investors, we can benefit from those technologies and invest in these companies. And these things right now that are available that are not totally where they're going to be or where they could be, that's where we can afford to put a small part of our portfolio into those companies. Uh, as the saying goes, if it's something that's going to go up a lot, all, all you need is a little bit to, uh, to be engaged and to um, profit from that upside. But if it also is going to go down and for some reason that company or that trend never really surfaces and takes off, then you're protected on that downside too that you haven't lost a little. And you make a small amount of those investments in a number of those companies and sectors and there will be some that will continue to really pay off and again will be the companies that we identify as uh, really synonymous with a type of uh, technology and those technologies that are going to define our future. Thanks for listening. That's all I have for today and I'll talk to you soon. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're listening on a platform like Spotify, Apple, or Google, please leave a rating and review. This will help spread the word and get our message out there. And if there's anyone that you think that can benefit from this content, please share. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just like to drop me a line, please feel free to do so. All feedback is welcome, and I love hearing from listeners. You can follow me on Twitter, at Becomes Income. Drop me a line at email, outcomebecomesincome at gmail.com. And see what pictures I'm posting on Instagram and TikTok at Outcome Becomes Income. This is Nate, and until next time, thank you for being a part of Outcome Becomes Income.